Have you ever wondered how the war on opiates could inadvertently be a war on injured workers? It's an intriguing thought, isn't it? Welcome, as we delve into this complex issue. In the early 21st century, the United States declared a war on opiates. It was a response to the alarming rise in opioid-related overdoses and deaths. Opiates, once hailed as a breakthrough in pain management, were now being seen as a public enemy. The medical community, lawmakers, and the public came together to take on this menace. However, as the war on opiates intensified, another issue began to emerge, the plight of injured workers. These were individuals who needed pain management to continue their daily lives. With the crackdown on opiates, their lifeline was under threat. As opioids became harder to obtain, injured workers found themselves in a dilemma. Their pain was real, but the fear of addiction and the societal stigma associated with opioid use was just as real. This led to an unexpected and unfortunate side effect of the war on opiates, the war on injured workers. Now consider the shocking case of a hospital shooting due to anger about pain care. A man in desperation and pain lashed out when he felt unheard, underserved. His actions were extreme but his frustration was a shared sentiment among many injured workers. Interestingly, studies have indicated that 99% of surgery patients don't get hooked on opioids. This suggests that the fear of opioid addiction may be overstated, especially when balanced against the need for effective pain management. So where does this leave us? It's clear that a more nuanced approach is needed. An approach that recognizes the genuine need for pain management, while addressing the risk of opioid misuse. A holistic strategy that doesn't inadvertently wage a war on those who are already battling pain and injury. In conclusion, the war on opiates has had unintended consequences, particularly for injured workers. The issue of pain care has been overshadowed by the fear of addiction. However, with understanding and a balanced approach, it is possible to address both issues simultaneously. We've journeyed from the inception of the war on opiates to the current plight of injured workers. We've explored real-life incidents and discussed significant studies. The key takeaway is the urgent need for a holistic approach, one that truly serves those in pain without making them casualties in the war on opiates.